Good morning, I'm meteorologist Malika Dudley with your morning tropical cyclone update for Wednesday, August 6th. Overnight, Ezel has continued to weaken. Maximum sustained winds are at 85 miles per hour, making it a Category 1 hurricane. Hurricane force winds extend 30 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds up to 140 miles from the center. Ezel is moving west at 15 miles per hour, currently about 820 miles east-southeast of Kahului. Additional weakening is forecasted over the next three days, and Ezel is expected to be a tropical storm later today or tonight. The winds from Ezel are expected to affect the state from Thursday into the early weekend. The forecast track and fans still have an average error of 80 miles, so it's still too soon to say which islands would be most likely to get the worst weather. Keep in mind, no matter where the final track ends up, impacts will still likely be significant for some islands as effects could be felt a large distance from the actual storm track. Let's look at our wind probability chart. Today we'll graduate to the 50 knot chart. That's about 56 mile per hour winds, which are considered gale force. Trees could get uprooted, considerable structural damage could occur, um, things like that under those conditions. The light green indicates a 20 to 30 percent chance as the shades get darker, 10 to 20 percent, and 5 to 10 percent. The tropical storm wind probability for Ezel, meaning winds of at least 39 miles per hour, shows 50 to 70 percent chances in brown, yellow 30 to 50 percent, and the light green is again 20 to 30 percent. Hurricane wind speed probabilities are looking really reassuring. Well, since warm water fueled the storm, some of you might be interested in sea surface temperatures, so here you go. It's in Celsius, but you get the idea. Tracking over cooler water is better. Enough stats, what can we expect? Well, a tropical storm watch is posted for all islands except Kauai at this hour for the possibility of tropical storm conditions. That means heavy rain, storm surge, and strong winds. The timeline as of now, if Ezel remains on track, is Big Island on Thursday, Maui County late on Thursday, Oahu and Kauai County through Friday. High surf will impact us first with heights exceeding 10 feet starting today with larger surf tonight and tomorrow and could bring coastal flooding especially at high tide. Again, still too early to say which islands are most at risk, but the Big Island and Maui County will be the first to experience the impacts. Flooding and mudslides are also a risk with four to eight inches forecasted statewide. Timing for that? Thursday, Big Island, late Thursday, Friday for the rest of the state. A flash flood watch is posted statewide anticipating the possibility from Thursday night through Friday night. A tropical storm warning is also up for all offshore waters and mariners with small craft should take precautionary measures. Okay, tropical storm Julio. Now is a category one hurricane. Maximum sustained winds at 75 miles per hour with higher gusts. Slow strengthening is forecasted over the next 24 to 36 hours. Hurricane force winds extend 15 miles. Tropical storm winds extend 105 miles. This storm is moving west-northwest at 17 miles per hour and is 1,700 miles or so east-southeast of Kahului. It remains pretty much on the same track, track as Ezel. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it's better to be prepared than scared. Prepare now for the worst, but let's all hope for the best. I'll post updates as they occur on the Maui Watch Facebook page. Thanks for listening and stay safe.